Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Victorian Room playing cards from the Blue Crown. All right, so what is Victorian Room? Uh, Victorian Room was designed by Rudy Faber and it was finalized and finished up by Ido Huang. So what the Blue Crown has done is they've taken upon themselves to uh, the task of restoring the artwork that was found in an old journal and then reprinting this really cool deck of cards. So about 100 years ago, uh, in 1916, there was a mysterious guy that traveled the world and he taught people magic, okay? Taught people cardistry, taught people sleight of hand. And even though he was the best of his time, uh, there weren't very many people who even knew he existed, let alone knew what he looked like, knew even of his name. But he was called Ace Victoria. So Arthur Ace Victoria, he was born in uh, Birmingham, England, and he later moved to the US at the start of the century. And the legend is that he taught Erdnase, okay? That's the legend. The legend is that he taught Erdnase. Uh, and his travels took him all over the world, and although very little is known about him, the majority of information that's been revealed uh, to the public has been found in this journal, which was found much later uh, in the deepest, darkest India. So his own custom card design was found, sketched in this journal, along with many secret techniques and slights devised uh, by Arthur. And so what Blue Crown has done is they've taken it upon themselves to create Victorian Room, a brand new deck of cards designed from this supposed old journal. The tech ace is done in a flat burgundy that wraps all the way around. And then uh, there's a lot of these red uh, Victorian era embellishments on the front. And it does say Victorian Room and a little gold uh, VR at the top. And then you have this silver shiner. Now there's a shiner right on the center of this. And it's done with kind of like a mirror-like surface. Uh, and if you don't know what a shiner is, a shiner is a, a magical uh, utility that uh, magicians and gamblers would use to get a reflection of a card. Supposedly, you'd be able to hold a card above the shiner and then look down into the shiner and have it act as a mirror so it would reflect back up and tell the magician or the gambler what the identity of the card was, okay? So it's kind of like a, a technique. The second thing that's built into this is that there's a hole cut out. And this hole is made to look like it might be the center of the back design, but in truth, you could um, have a chosen card or a word um, put, written on a card and then have it put back in the box. And then when you held the box towards yourself, you'd be able to see, you'd be able to catch a peek. So this box is designed to both reveal cards from one way or the other as either a peak or a shiner. So it's a built-in magic box. The tongue flap says Ace Victoria and has a top hat with a magic wand. And then the inside is done with a lot of beautiful Victorian embellishments. The bottom has some ad copy about the Blue Crown and the Expert Playing Card Company. And that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the Expert Playing Card Company. And a lot of people always ask how these cards feel, how they handle. Uh, the best thing I can do for you is measure them with a caliper. I can put 10 of them into a caliper and then measure them, give you an accurate reading, and then tell you how this deck would compare to perhaps another deck that you've played with or another deck that you own. So uh, 10 of these in the caliper comes to 2.77. 2.77 is pretty thin. Uh, that's about on par with the Roadhouse deck. The back design is a nice thin white border. And as you can see, it's very heavily uh, embellished. You got the roses up there in the corner, like a vase and all of that like uh, design work just wrapped around this very old clock uh, with Roman numerals. And then in the center, there's the image of a sun. And in truth, the face on the sun is so small, I can't really tell if it's a one-way or a two-way design, but that doesn't really matter because the Roman numerals around the clock make it a one-way design. With this deck, you're gonna get two original jokers. They are the Ace Victoria logo with the top hat and the magic wand. Also with this deck, you're gonna get a double backer, which is great for magic. The key thing about the double backer is on one side, it is a standard back. On the other side, it has the clock hands put back on. Your Ace of Spades is big and beautiful. It's a large uh, golden pip that says Victorian room across the top. Underneath, it says the blue crown and underneath the spade pip is some gold fauna. Your pips and indice cards will be completely standard and instantly recognizable, making them perfect for gameplay. Your court cards are gonna have a very throwback, very old school, very Arco looking feel. However, uh, I don't really recognize them, so I think they're original uh, to this deck. And so uh, they're probably courts that were inspired uh, from the Ace Victoria journal. 
but they're very beautiful and again they have that very old school very throwback feel each one of the aces uh, it has an exploded pip in the center and has that gold uh, laurel wreath wrapped around them all right so that is my review of the victorian room cards from the blue crown as always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just so that you can stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.